Hello. Today we're going to talk about if you've been struggling to lose weight. Well, I have something for you I want you to try. Let's stop telling ourselves that we're failures. We all do this in anything that we endeavor to change and have been unsuccessful multiple times. I want to share with you a little framework that might be really helpful, but it it'll go beyond even weight loss. But that is who I see typically is people who are really struggling for their health, but many times it's around weight loss. So let's jump right in. First of all, why do we tell ourselves this, right? So why do we continually say we're failures? I've tried all the diets. I've tried all these things and nothing's worked. I've done every exercise regimen, everything under the sun, and nothing seems to work. Nothing is sticking. I just can't do it. Maybe you think that your body is going to fail you and that you're some special weird scientific case that nothing's going to work for you with your weight loss or other activities that are improving your health that you're really struggling with. Well, I want to share a quick story with you that really give, gave me the real true understanding of what mindset and how important that is. So I read the book um, by Carol Dweck about growth mindset and fixed mindsets. And there was a story of a young boy, I believe he was around at fourth grade, that was part of their experiment in this school. And so they had a control group where they were helping kids just understand good study habits. And then they had an interventional group where they would actually go in teach them also about good study habits, but also help them understand that they could have a growth mindset, that intellect was not fixed. And in this book, I mean, it's really the one piece that really stuck with me. This young child who was 10 years old asked the researcher, says, you mean I don't have to be stupid anymore? So if that doesn't break your heart, I don't know what will. And I feel so many times that we ourselves are telling ourselves, right, that we're stupid, that we just can't do it. We're not smart enough. We're not good enough. That is not true. And these are what we call limiting beliefs or a fixed mindset that we feel that like things cannot change. So I want to go through this a little bit with you. Bear with me. I'm going to pull up my notes here. And, you know, the limiting belief around, let's say, uh, weight loss is that your failure is because you cannot lose weight because you've tried many times. But again, you can reframe this with anything that you've struggled with in your life. Um, well, what causes us to believe that? Well, societal pressures, right? We, we see all the highlight reels of people's lives on social media or maybe our friends or family. They don't struggle or they've been successful in other endeavors. And we just can't seem to figure it out. Uh, repeated Let's say, again, failed diets. Maybe it's internalized negative self-talk. That's such a serious thing to overcome, that negative chatter that goes on in our mind. And this all reinforces the belief, and that leads to hopelessness and defeat and shame and guilt. And I'm going to tell you right now, why isn't it true and what is true? Well, first of all, why it's not true that you're a failure, right? That you're doing something wrong. Well, let's talk about weight loss. Weight loss is complex, right? It's a process that has lots of different factors. It's including metabolism, genetics, lifestyle, age, lots of different things, gender. Um, and then focusing solely on the scale really ignores the many positive changes to, you know, that are happening internally and externally as you're, as you're finding health, right? You're embracing healthy lifestyles and you're doing different things labeling yourself as a failure ignores the perseverance and the effort that you've already done in your life and all the things that you've done before. So let's say that you've been working at this weight loss thing for, let's say two or three weeks and you had some progress and now you're seeing some stalling and you're just really frustrated. Well, first of all, you got to give yourself patience. And number two, understand that you've gotten to that three week point, or maybe you went out and you had a dinner and it, you know, the scale went up a pound or two the next day because of the, all the salt and the, and the water retention. And you're like, oh, give up. That right there is number one that tricks us, right? We, we just feel like all that last three weeks that we worked on or however long it's all blown out of the water. It is not. So we have to remember that we've put in all this amazing work and it doesn't get blown out of the water just from doing one thing differently. You just make a different decision with your next meal and move on. That's just a very small snippet of some of the things in the internal discussions that people have with themselves and certainly some of the discussions I've had with patients and other people that I work with. So, but what I can tell you is, is true is that you are resilient and you are capable of making lasting changes. That is no doubt in my mind. 
um, you know, understanding and working with your body's unique needs is really important. And that's what can lead to sustainable weight loss. And that's why I like working with CGMs and looking at labs and really understanding someone's current state of health, right? Not one fix, you know, one prescription is going to fix everybody. I do believe strongly in plants and fiber. But again, even within that, you can make some changes and some tweaking, and that can make a big difference in cholesterol levels and weight loss and a few different things. So remember, we want to shift our focus on health and well-being rather than just a number on a scale. That doesn't take into account your muscle mass, your body fat composition. All of that needs to be taken into play. And so I'm going to introduce this really simple thing called reframe. Right? We're going to reframe our mindset. Just some ideas for you. If something is resonate with you, you know, maybe journal about it. Think about it. See what you can take and put it into your life. So let's talk about reframe. Let's start with the R, right? Let's recognize your limiting belief, right? The first step is acknowledging that the belief that you are a failure because you haven't lost weight. That is a limiting belief. Recognize the thought pattern is crucial to changing it. It could be any limiting belief. Maybe you feel you have limiting belief about your success in your career or some skill that you've been working on. Again, it doesn't matter. Just understanding recognizing it is the very first step. So that's R and reframe. E is examine the evidence, right? So let's consider the facts here, right? Let's not make up stories. Let's actually look at the facts. You know, weight loss is influenced by numerous factors and not achieving your desired weight does not equate to failure, right? So let's reflect on effort and perse perse perseverance and all the things that you have done that are leading you to a healthier lifestyle or healthier body. And that is the facts, right? That you've already made some strides towards your goal. And that is really, really important is that, again, failures are opportunities and for learning and to take that and to tweak it and learn from it and grow from it. And that's how you keep moving down your journey. And I'll get to the minute here in a minute. I'll get to here in a minute. I'll get to my uh, free master class in a minute and how I actually discuss with patients how you create your own pathway and your own journey, and I'm there to help you, but we'll get there in a second. But examine the evidence. What are the facts here? I feel like, uh, huh, I feel like I'm a, a, never mind. I like, it's almost, I think I did a detective video where we talked about, you know, you have to look at weight loss as a detective, and let's, part of it was looking at the evidence. <laughs> F and reframe is formulate a new belief, right? So replace your limiting belief with a positive one. For example, I am capable of learning and growing through this journey. It could be anything. Focus on the progress that you've made and healthy habits that you developed. Again, they might be small ones, but it doesn't matter. I think I've shared this story that I had a patient who um, she needed to lose significant amount of weight. She had diabetes, high blood pressure. I was just trying to get her to exercise. She's like, Dr. Myers, I can't exercise. I was like, okay, well, what can you do? She goes, I don't know. I don't have any time. I'm working. I'm, I'm just tired all the time. I was like, oh, how about this? when are you outside? She goes, well, I'm outside when I get in my car to drive to work and get out of my car to drive, you know, get back in the house. Okay. How about this? You get in, you drive home, you open the door, you leave the door open, you'd walk down to the end of your driveway and you walk back. Can you do that? She goes, well, of course. I'm like, okay. She goes, are you serious? I'm like, yes, I'm absolutely serious. And so she started that. And before she left, actually, I literally did a pinky promise. <laughs> this is a fun thing. I seriously did a pinky promise, a physical pinky promise to make sure that she would go there and back because she knew I was going to ask her when she came back. I want you to know after a few days of doing it, because she did, she walked down to the end of the driveway and back. She goes, this is crazy. I can walk around the block. So then she walked around the block. And before you know it, she's walking two or three miles. And then that little habit led to some different changes. She's eating healthier. She's moving more. She reverses her diabetes. She loses 60 pounds. And that all started with walking down to the end of her driveway. Now, some people may not think that that's something to actually celebrate, but it absolutely is because you're taking the first step in your thousand mile journey. And it doesn't have to be overwhelming. Just start small. Okay. So again, you're changing your beliefs because if you believe you can make it to the end of the driveway, you'll eventually believe you can make it around the block. You see where I'm heading here? Okay. We're formulating new beliefs by taking action too. So then R is reframe the situation. So shift your perspective, right? What you're seeing from viewing weight loss as a pass or fail test to seeing it as a journey. Sorry about that. 
as a journey, right? So you really want to see this as a journey of self-discovery and health improvement. You want to celebrate those small victories, which we just talked about, and understand that setbacks, again, are not even setbacks. These are opportunities for learning and growth so that you can accelerate your journey. A is align actions with your new belief. Adopt the behaviors that support your new belief. Walking to the end of the driveway is a good one. You know, setting out uh, apples and bananas so that you eat healthy food and you have it available for you. Again, mindful eating is another piece. Regular physical activity, seeking support from a friend or family member. Anything that you can do to help, you know, support those new beliefs that you're building. M is maintain the new mindset. Remember why you're doing what you're doing. Connect to your why. When you start saying, I want to lose weight. Okay, why do you want to lose weight? I want to lose weight because I want to feel better. Okay, why do you want to feel better? Well, I want to feel better so I can be more active. And like, why do you want to be more active? So I can play with my kids. Why do you want to play with your kids? Now we start getting into that emotional connection. When you start asking why and get deeper, right? Go to the root. That when you start feeling your heart move and your chest pound a little bit, that is the reason. That's the why, right? That is the reason you want to keep your new mindset. So just consistently reinforce this new belief with positive affirmations, setting realistic goals with small ones, and then practicing self-compassion when there's setbacks and understanding failures are opportunities for learning and growth. I hate the word failure, but again, people, we have to use something to say that things don't go the way you want them to plan. <laughs> All right. So E is empower yourself, right? So empowerment comes from within. You want to embrace your strengths because you have them. You've done hard things before. We all have. Acknowledge your efforts and trust in your ability to achieve your health goals because you absolutely can do this. I have no doubt. So again, just want to re, re over the reframe. I figured it was something simple. I just, again, I could talk about the different things that are really required to change your mindset and to really help you succeed is recognize your limiting belief, examine the evidence for what it really is. Don't judge it. Just examine the, the facts. Formulate your new belief, right? Reframe the situation, shift your perspective, align your actions with your new belief, maintain your new mindset, and empower yourself. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, I was just really trying to get to the this piece here, this three-pound organ between our ears. It's so important. It will uh, it will break you or make you. You just have to change what we're thinking and things will follow. I know it seems crazy and too simple, but it's so absolutely true, guys. So I hope you found this helpful. And below, you'll see a link for my free um, masterclass. It's five steps to master your metabolism and lose weight. There is where I go deep into understanding how you can actually understand your unique body needs, how you can create your own path forward and really find success in your health journey. So uh, it's been lots of time and it's really a culmination of all the years that I've been doing this and I hope you found it helpful. But please check it out. Please subscribe if wherever you're listening to this or share this with someone that you feel that might benefit from this. I really appreciate you being here as always. So I'm sending you love, joy, and peace and healing and gratitude for being with me today. So appreciate all of you. Hope you found this helpful and um, I'll be back later. And again, please feel free to register for the free masterclass. You'll see the link below and you guys have a great rest of your 